a game where you get to play as V. How awesome is that? Man, I gotta say, uh, I'm really concerned about cyberpunk. I don't know what to say. I mean, it's worrying me. It's worrying me a lot that I really want to like this game. I really want it to be game of the year. I want it to do good. But it's very worrisome. So the first thing that really worries me about is uh, how ambitious the project is and how hyped the game is. They were talking about how when you do a quest, <clears throat> if you fail the quest, it's not game over. It's not going to make you load the game, but the story is going to be shaped in such a way that it takes into account the fact that you failed the quest. So you, every time you go on a quest, you have like different narrative paths. And I guess like your story can be influenced based on the previous successes you had with quests and whatnot. How can you even get that in? Like it's going to be quite difficult to write a story with such arching narratives. And again, this game has been hyped up for, I think it's like, what, three years now? Probably more. I don't think anything either than something legendary and exceptional can please the people now. You are going to see people complaining because this game did not live up to the expectations. And not necessarily because it's going to be a bad game, but because the expectations are ridiculously high. I have not seen a game being so hyped up before since Blizzard was releasing products. And uh, yeah, that's, that's one of the things that I'm worried about. The other thing that I'm worried about, that this is actually something really concerning, is uh, the lack of trailers, especially the lack of gameplay. I mean, we have a couple from last year, but what about since? Like, I remember when The Witcher was coming out, there were just trailers after trailers after trailers, especially talking about how the crossbow is going to function, talking about the talent system. Uh, people pretty much knew a lot about the game of The Witcher, even before actually getting to play it, just by looking at what the developers were saying about it and showing trailers and whatnot. This game has nothing, except a delay. Yeah, so I'm, I'm really not excited about it. Like, you guys know what I, what I think. It's like whenever a game doesn't show uh, trailers that it's almost coming out, that's kind of a bad sign. Like, think about it. If you have a good product, you have a good game, you want people to see it. You, you just can't stop talking about it. When you don't have a good game, well, <laughs> it's kind of like uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. You show a gameplay footage that doesn't really have gameplay and you talk about how progressive it's going to be and the lesbian relationship in the game. Which leads me to the second thing that I find really worrying. You know, the, the whole uh, conversation about transgender issues and whatnot in the game. Uh, I remember a couple of years ago, the developers were talking to a journalist and the journalist was like, Oh, but can you have like uh, pronouns? Can, can you go by they, them? It's, it, it match just... You know, you, you have a game from one of the most legendary companies out there, CD Projekt Red, which just seems to love gamers. They love consumers and they get gamers. It's almost like they are gamers themselves. And the only question is, like, well, can you ask them the they, them, and the pronouns? Has the mother of all retards, which is constantly pregnant with quadruplets, just move into California now? And literally all her kids now want to become game journalists. Like, seriously, th these are questions that you ask. When you get to speak with the developers of Cyberpunk, the pronouns, the pronouns. <laughs> the pronouns. <laughs> but it seems that the developers, though, they listen that uh, you can customize your junk and you can play with a male character that has a vagina. And ooh, you know who are the only people upset about it? Because at this point, gamers just don't care. The funny thing is, like I seen on the internet, the, the people that are upset are the actual transgender activists. Especially on Reset Era, like, the, there were people getting banned on Reset Era for not getting upset about this. They call it uh, sexualizing transgender people. No, I'm not making it, I, I know, I know, it's too late, and it's, it's four and a half in the morning for me to actually bring the logs here. I know you'd appreciate it, but trust me, you know, it, it has happened. I know it sounds ridiculous, but yes, people on Reset Era that were being like, well, you know, I don't find the problem if, like, the developers of Cyberpunk had the, oh no, ban for trivializing the plight of transgender people. 
Uh, it's ridiculous. Usually this is another warning sign. When a gaming company starts listening to social justice activists, it means it's already getting corrupted by social justice activists. There's no other explanation. Like, it's an ideology for morons by morons. And you need to be a moron in order to start listening to people that aren't even part of your consumer base. No, people that actively antagonize your consumer base. Uh, but, you know, like in, in CD Project Red's case, in their defense, I mean, this is cyberpunk. So, yes, like in cyberpunk, it is really the place where you can go maximum wokeness. And no one is going to be upset because it's like a dystopian future. It's like the, the worst place where humanity is going towards. And you can have like really full wokeness there. Like it, it is literally the game where you can have like everything social justice activists want in video game. You, you can have like go all out. You know, like, and, and it would fit within the genre of the game. It would be actually be, be accurate. So no, it doesn't worry me from a story point of view. You know, it's not like when you show World War II and you put a crippled woman on the box as the person beating the Germans. No, in, in this situation, it actually works. It actually makes sense if you uh, go full out on the, the progressive issue. Uh, but it worries me because every single time a game goes full out on the social justice dog whistles, it shows that the game is going to be bad. Because it has social justice people in the company. People that are into social justice and they're very woke. Aren't very skilled at their job. It's not an ideology that promotes skill and competence. No, it's an ideology that promotes weakness. And being bad at what you do. So if these people were good, they wouldn't be into social justice. And they're also very bigoted. Like you notice with the Naughty Dog. And The Last of Us, like 70% turnover rate in that company. Like they're so insufferable that even other social justice wankers don't want to work with them. It's insane. But it's true. You know, but in the whole, in the thing with the CD Projekt Red and Cyberpunk, uh, it usually takes a while for the progressive people to destroy a company. Uh, usually a company f works still by inertia. Like if you have um, a good team, which starts getting infiltrated by these people and they start changing things. Usually it takes like one or two titles before it becomes obvious. I mean, look at uh, Bioware. You know, Mass Effect 3 with all its flaws was still serviceable, wasn't it? Same with Dragon Age 3. Like Dragon Age 3, yeah, it was a bad game because it had a lot of grind. But I tell you what, compared to the other games that came out afterwards, it was still playable at least. My God, I never managed to finish Dragon Age 3 now that I think about it still better than Mass Defect Andromeda, like, let's be honest. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, uh, I, I do have uh, concerns regarding uh, Cyberpunk. Uh, the, the main concern, again, is the fact that there's no trailers. Like, this is what bothers me. Why, why aren't there videos of it? And why do they keep talking about nonsense that no one is interested? It's like the entire articles on all the press, the fact that you can customize your junk. I don't like, in fact, I don't even want to see junk. How can you stream that? Like if I want to make a stream and I stream on YouTube and you can see the junk, wouldn't that give me a, a strike? Like I hope at least there's a slider where you can turn that off somehow um, because it would be a problem. Yeah, it's it's really interesting uh, how these progressive AAA games managed to, do, to bypass a lot of the rules. Like I remember when on Steam you couldn't have porn games but it was fine if you have, like, the Witcher having sex with his beloved witches. And you could put that on Steam and it was fine. But I remember, like, back in the days of YouTube, Angry Joe showed a couple of uh, scenes from... I think it was, like, Metro, where you have sex with a lady with big tits. And, uh, yeah, that, that got his video into problems. Um, but, you know, like, that's, that's another conversation for another time. Let me know what you think, though. You know, I really hope that I'm wrong. I really hope that this game is excellent and they're just uh, holding it on close to their chests. Uh, but to me, it's worrisome. Like, come on, there must be something else in the game that's cool that you could announce beside the fact that you can modify your junk. Which, let's be honest, is going to be a feature that's like a little slider in the beginning and you put it there and then you never see it again because the game is a first-person shooter anyway. So who cares? Literally, who cares? But... You know, 
I, I hardly want to see Keanu Reeves, even if the game is bad, at least we get that. Let me know what you think and I'll see you guys in the comment section.